All right, this is Ugly Josh, and I'm about to do Can We Be Honest? Here we go. All right. Question one, what are three things that make a man slash girl instantly unattractive? Hygiene, for sure. If you stink, you musty. At this age, like any age, you need to seek immediate attention. Two, um, if you lie a lot, like if you lie, like like about anything, if I ask you this, like what color the sky and you say red, like you lie, it's like that's not attractive for sure. And my third one would probably be character. If your character is just like like out of the world, we can't control you, you're a crazy monkey, you unattractive. That's my third. Why aren't relationships lasting in this generation? Oh my gosh, because everybody wants to do what they want to do and not come into agreement about being in a covenant in a relationship. So everybody's doing what they want to do and they don't want to be committed to a person. Everybody just want to be outside, thugging with their rounds, you know the rest. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's something a friend can do that's going against a girl or bro code? Talk to your, talk to your friend like, girl or vice versa i think that's going to get some bro code like if you know that your partner is talking to somebody or your girl is talking to somebody you shouldn't be talking to like your other partner because that's just five that's really crazy can't be doing that that is something really wild is a reaction to a text a text back what you mean like if i press like the button you know like the if i heart it like it Oh, absolutely not. Like, if you like my message, that's not you texting back. That's you just saying, okay, anyway, bye. That's how I take it. That's really how I take it. So, no. Absolutely no. Okay, so this is one of the scenarios. A guy I've only linked with twice asked me to have a threesome multiple times. I'm thrown off because why does he even feel comfortable enough to ask me that? Um, so... I don't know whoever you are out there to ask this question, but I just feel if you were asked that question and why you trying to figure out why he asked you that, I say like evaluate like who you are as like your true self. Because nine times out of ten, if a guy gonna ask you that, he gonna think you going, he gonna think you green, he gonna think you like you really on that type of time. So if you own that, any please be go crazy, go slap. But if you're not, let him know who you are and let him know that you ain't going for nothing you know, like that. What advice do you have for teens of this generation? I love this question. I think I'm going to spend time on this question. What advice do you have for teens of this generation? For everybody that's listening out here, I really want people to be themselves. Like, love yourself. Like, love who you are. Like, love the way that God made you. Like, love the way that you created. Because nine times out of ten, we live in a generation where a lot of people do not love themselves. Mental health, suicide is at an all-time high. So, love love yourself and if you cannot love yourself how you gonna love god if you don't love yourself so literally love yourself and be you and don't stress like don't stress about nothing like literally have fun like have fun by everything so that's my advice and be you who cares if they hating who cares if they talking be you boo simple scenario number two my partner was allowing his female friends to talk bad about me and i am wondering if this is a valid reason to leave or have or have him cut his friend off. I say check him. Like, if that's the case, if your partner is talking about your friend, I say cut him off. I mean, don't cut him off. Like, check him and let him know what's going on. And depending on his reaction, you will really know if you need to cut him off or you need to leave him. But um, I say check him because, I mean, you never know. But if his character is like that, then yeah, cut that off. Ain't nothing to cut that trick off. Last scenario. I was friends with a girl for several years, but we stopped talking because she blocked me one day. Her stepdad had always wanted to trick on me. Uh-oh. But I used to tell him no because he was her stepdad. He is still trying and we are not friends anymore. Would I be wrong to do it? These questions are crazy. Wow. Uh, to trick. All right. Um... So if if your friend's stepdad trying to trick on you and you know y'all ain't friends no more, I mean, I say no because all money ain't good money, you know what I'm saying? And then again, that's her stepdad. Like, 
I know y'all be chasing after like other stepdads, but if that ain't what you want, don't even go for it. And I don't promote tricking, so don't go go talk to her stepdad because he probably honestly you you probably ain't gonna feel good right after that anyway. So she probably gonna feel some type of reason. Damn, why you just bust down my stepdad? And she's like, I just wanted some money. So I say don't do it honestly, and you would be wrong. Like you'd be flat out wrong for yourself. So. If if the mom ain't rocking with a stepdad like that, then mom need to get that in check because that yeah stepdad Trump he's out here talking to the you know what I'm saying so get your life together. Mm -hmm. So um this is your boy Ugly Josh. I just did to be honest questions. It was lit. I thank I thank Kai for inviting me out. I had a great time today. I need y'all to go ahead and promote her to an all time level, y'all. This is fun. I had a great time, y'all. I don't even know what to do with myself for real. But Kai, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And it's going down. It's going big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.